Hello everybody, this is Danilo Cuellar from PeacefulAnarchism.com out here in the beautiful spontaneous order that surrounds us all. Recently I was watching a documentary on the Milgram experiments with my family and my wife asked me the question is it possible to have blind obedience to be an instrument of good. And I thought that was a very interesting question. Now, first, the Milgram experiments, for those who are not aware, is a, a ex social experiment conducted by Stanley Milgram. And it was, he was studying the effects of obedience and what he discovered was that everyday decent moral human beings who consider themselves to be good people when placed in a position where there is an authority figure over them in a white lab coat dictating a science experiment they have the capability to do some of the most evil and heinous acts to their fellow man. And it demonstrated that no, the Nazi soldiers in Germany in the 1930s, they were not uniquely evil, they were not special in their wickedness. No, he demonstrated that any person is capable of these acts. And my wife was asking, is it possible to use blind obedience for good? Now, the definition of obedience, the way I understand it, is to obey without question the whims or dictates of another human being to supplant your reason, your logic, your free will for that of another. Therefore, to me, blind obedience makes you no longer a human being. Blind obedience transforms the person into a robot, into a slave, into the shell of a human being. Because the essence of what it means to be human is free will, is independent thought, is assessing every situation and coming to a decision based on weighing the pros and cons. So can blind obedience ever be good? And I, I don't think that's true. Because we wouldn't say that a robot can ever be good, right? Goodness and evil occurs when the person has a choice. Has a choice whether to be good or to be evil. And consequently, it is not when you are at the mercy of another person, when you are forced to do a particular thing, regardless if it is objectively to be considered good, that still does not make a person a good person because he has not chosen that path of his own volition. In the same sense that if you were mugged and the mugger took your money and gave it to a charity, that does not make you a good person because you gave your money ended up in charity. Or if the state forcefully confiscated your currency and built a bridge or gave welfare to some people. That still does not make you a good person. There is no such thing as coercive compassion or forced charity. No. This only occurs when people have the choice to give or to not give. 
and they give of their own volition. That is the definition of goodness. So obedience, blind obedience to authority is one of the most evil acts that a person can do. And it is basically the foundation of every imperialistic nation state the world over. Truly no army, no military could ever wield its might without blind obedience by the soldiers. In the military they do not look for independent thinkers. They do not look for skeptics or critics of authority. They look for blind, obedient followers. And this is the difference between a human being and a drone. This is the difference between the definition of statism and the belief in authority and the definition of a free, independent thinking human being. What voluntarists and anarchists strive for is a world of free and independent human beings. What status strive for is a world where people obey the dictates of those in power, the whims and caprices of rulers. Status seek to make obedient pawns out of the people, out of the populace. And they believe that this creates a powerful nation state. No, this creates chaos or what Ludwig, Ludwig von Mises termed as planned chaos. In the words of Henry David Thoreau, disobedience is the foundation of liberty. The obedient must be slaves. And it is in this spirit that I say, you must never supplant your own reasoning, your own logic, your own critical thinking ability for that of another, for that of a person or for that of a book. Always, always think for yourself. Always consult your conscience. Let your conscience be the ultimate arbiter, the ultimate law in your heart. No law, no regulation, no political mandate can ever replace your conscience. And no forked tongue politician has the ability to do so. Thank you very much for listening. This is Peaceful Anarchism out here. Enjoy nature. Hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see more of it, please feel free to donate and help me interview other fascinating people. You can do so through Patreon. That's patreon.com slash peacefulanarchism to help me out. A dollar a show is all I ask. If you feel so inclined to donate more, please feel free. It will only assist me in spreading the message of freedom and volunteerism that much farther and that much more efficiently. You can also donate to my Bitcoin. My Bitcoin address is in the description to my videos as well as on my website, peacefulanarchism.com. And while you're on my site, there's a donate button to donate through PayPal. If you prefer to donate through PayPal, you can do so with that. But Patreon is a little bit easier for content creators as you can set up a recurring donation if you so desire. Also, while you're on my website, peacefulanarchism.com, please feel free to sign up, enter your email address, sign up for my newsletter, and you'll receive updates every time I post something, a video or an interview. I do not send out any spam. Or you can also follow me on Facebook, 
under facebook.com slash peaceful anarchism or facebook.com slash Danilo Cuellar 3, I believe. Danilo Cuellar 3. So either, either one of those methods, if you are able to donate, I would be most appreciative. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you have a magnificent day.